Good morning, friends. It is Saturday, February the 23rd. I am in my car on the way to Weight Watchers. And it is raining. It has been raining. It's been raining and raining and raining and raining. Um, but that's okay. We'll still go to Weight Watchers. <laughs> I don't know if I'm up. I don't know if I'm down. I don't even know. Who knows? Um, I think I'm going to get my 16 week little charming today. So that's fun. Hopefully they remember to give it to me. They, this place is pretty good about remembering. I went, so when I went to Weight Watchers like years and years ago and lost all that weight, nobody gave me anything. <laughs> I don't know if it was just the place that I was going. It was like a little church. <laughs> Sorry. Still coughing a little bit here and there. Um, it was a little church in Georgia and you know, there's like six or seven people that would show up every week. It was so cute. And, um, I don't even remember. There was just the leader. There wasn't like a receptionist or anything. And they had the old weighted scale. Yeah. But anyway, I don't remember getting anything except for those. I've shown you guys my bookmark with my stars on it. I did get that. I showed you that like a long time ago long, like months and months ago, <laughs> a couple months ago. So, um, I'll try to insert a little picture right here of my bookmark because I still have that, I have that out, um, next to the door that I walk out of every morning and I just take a little peek at it to keep myself motivated. So what was my point? Oh yeah. So I might be getting that charm. I'm sitting here at a stoplight. Look, my friend Anita. Thanks for the happy meal, Anita. Happy meal. Did I say Happy Meal? I meant Happy Mail. Oh my goodness. That was a Freudian slip. If ever there, there is one. I'm going to have to wash this back and see if I said Happy Meal. <sighs> Those are from my McDonald's days. You know. Um, I used to take the boys. When they were little, I used to take them to McDonald's. And they would get... This is when I was on Weight Watchers. They would get a, a Happy Meal. <clears throat> and then I would get, they used to have these salad shaker things. Do you guys remember these? It was like a chicken salad and you would pour the dressing in and then shake the cup. It was like a cup you shook and the dressing would get all over it. I would get that and then sometimes I would get a small french fry and a Diet Coke. Yeah, I'd have a Diet Coke. Um, I don't know. I haven't had a, I haven't had, I haven't been to McDonald's in a couple of years just because the last time I went, was on the way home from a really bad work shift and I got a bagel that had like all kinds of steak and cheese and eggs on it. Who even knows how many points that would be? Probably all my points for the day, if not more. And I had that and I had a Diet Coke and then I couldn't sleep. I wonder why I couldn't sleep. And I was like, I just can't do that anymore. So I stopped, stopped going there. I felt terrible and I was tachycardic and you know everything everything stress eating at its best um I've never really you know done the whole I've never eaten like a whole pizza or a whole pan of brownies or anything my stuff is more like I'll have something like that and then half an hour later go back and have something else so it's more of a like over time sort of triggered thing where I'm already satisfied or full and I still I'll go back half an hour hour later and and find something to munch on. So it's more of like a grazing type of overeating instead of like a you know huge binge of like brownies. Like if we made brownies, I'd have a brownie when I got up from work. And then when I got up to go to work, I'd maybe have another brownie. You know what I mean? Have like two or three brownies on the whole pan. Hopefully that makes sense. But um, okay, I don't know why I'm talking about that this morning. <laughs> I'm just rambling. I'm sleepy. It's foggy. It's drizzly. And it's been like this for days. So you don't want to do anything. So thank you, Anita, for the beautiful card. The Happy Mail card. It is absolutely perfect because it has flowers. And it has a little wheelbarrow on it. And it reminds me that spring is coming someday. Soon. 
I love it. It's, it's a beautiful, beautiful card. I don't, oh, she got it from Papyrus. Oh, I love that store. That, anyway, it's just beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to have to frame it or something. I'm gonna, I think I'm going to put it in a frame. Yeah, I'm going to have it out at Easter. So, it's just gorgeous. Thank you so much. You're a doll, and I really appreciate all your support. Uh, Anita has a channel. I will link it down below. She just started a Weight Watchers uh, vlogging channel. And she is a great source of encouragement to me. Um, she's extremely funny. Has a great sense of humor. So go down there. Like and subscribe her to her channel. I know she's going to be doing um, more chit-chatty stuff. And I like, you know, she's got some interesting views on kind of freestyle. And I like to hear different perspectives on the program. And, you know, all that. So I'm at my meeting. I'm going to get out a couple things myself organized here. I'm a disaster right now. I am a disaster. Um, I'm, I wouldn't even show you what's in my car. I still have tissue paper from Valentine's Day back here. I've got my planners with me because they were going to work with me, but I don't want to take them in because they're too heavy. Lord have mercy, Amy. Um, so this week was a great week. Um, on plan. I, I just feel like I was, oh, these are so cute. These are like little sticky notes. They say to do. What's that going? One of my planners. Um, anyway, I stayed on plan. I, so I counted points for most of the week when I had my kind of bingey thing at the beginning of the week, which was totally hormonal. If I lose anything this week, it'll be a miracle because this is my week of hormones, hormones. Um, so very possible that I stayed the same and that's fine I'm coming off of a 2.4 loss last week so if I gained oh, not if I gained if I stayed the same I'm fine if I gained I don't even know it'll be all right but I won't be happy about it so um, we'll see I drank tons of water this week not tons but I got my new water bottle and I was consistently downing three of those I never really, I think I had one day that I drank four of those water bottles. Um, but then I was so busy. Like yesterday, I was so busy. I drank two and a half. But then I went and worked out yesterday. I did 45 minutes on the elliptical. I did three and a half miles, you guys. Um, and then I drank another bottle of water. Yeah. So yesterday was really great. I got like 12,000 something steps. Um, I drank a lot of water. Last night we had such a good dinner. I made vegetarian fajitas with like portobello mushrooms, um, onions, peppers. Um, I put corn and refried beans in the bottom of my, like my tortilla. I put some refried beans and then I put my um, fajita mixture and then I put corn and then I put a little bit of um, guacamole on top mm, on a corn tortilla. Delicious. So I had that, and then I had some ice cream last night, or Arctic ice, not really ice cream, um, as my little Friday night treat instead of going out, because we didn't go out last night. Oh, I had my cross off. Um, so yeah, I feel like I had a really, I had a good week, you guys. I feel very positive, and you know. Um, the hormonal thing, I always just kind of give myself some grace there, because we can't do anything about like hormones and water retention, so. It's, it's possible that um, I might just have it maintained. If I have a gain, I'm going to be irritated. So I'm going to go weigh in. I'm going to get myself a little bit more cleaned up here. I have all these alcohol swaps. This is nurse life right here. You come home and you have pockets full of hopefully not medications. I've done that before. And hopefully not the um, any of the pump keys on your PCA pumps. I've done that before. Actually, only one time I went home. You do it once, you'll never do it again. On the PCA pump, you have to get it out of this big machine. Like, it's called a Pixis. So, you have to get the PCA pump key out. And there's only, like, one or two on the unit. And then you uh, go unlock the PCA pump, put a new morphine or fentanyl or whatever, lock it, and then go put it back in the Pixis. And I've had really busy nights before where it's ended up in my pocket. And no, none of the other nurses can get it if it's in your pocket. And then one time I went home with it. See, so yeah, I got all of him had to turn around and drive back to the hospital. So you only do that once. Why am I telling you this story? Maybe I'm avoiding going in. 
Um, I have my coffee. Oh, Nectar of the Gods. We'll be drinking that immediately after weigh-in. So, I'm going to go do my ritual, which is go to the bathroom, say a prayer, weigh in, go chit-chat with my little friends that all have these organizer books now. I've gotten like the whole group into these little organizers that I've shown you guys. I have a whole, um, I have a whole video on this. So if you want to know what kind of planners, organizers I have, I have a whole haul at the beginning of the year on this. So go back and look on my channel. But anyway, they um, all have these little books and we all compare and share stuff and it's really fun. But I have noticed that the numbers are definitely going down in our meeting. So we had like a big rush at the beginning of the year and now we don't really have as many people. And we don't have, like last week there was no, there were no new members. So. Okay, see you in a minute. Oh, probably should turn the camera off first. Hey everybody. I am home from Weight Watchers. Um, so, like I said, and I was totally expecting this, I lost 0.2. So hopefully you can see that. I am down 0.2. I have finished out my little book. Um, so I've got my 16 weeks done in here. So I got my 16 week award, which is a cute little charm that I really like. Um, I don't know if you look back on my planner haul video, that's where I talk about my planners. I know you all have asked a lot of questions about what kind of planners I use. I do have a little bookmark with my name on it that I had bought at a party supply store and that's what I'm hooking my charms onto to keep them sort of, you know, available and I know where they're at. So that little charm will go on there. And then we also had an interesting meeting that I have a lot of thoughts on uh, that I need to process the schedule your meals, which is an interesting concept. Um, and we had an interesting discussion about this. I'm not exactly sure what I think of this, although, you know, I, I like to plan my meals and I do eat on a schedule. Um, and I, maybe that really helps people. I know like in Overeaters Anonymous, this was something that they like to do. But then I don't know how this works with like sort of Weight Watchers, you know, intuitive eating and I don't know. I, I just need to think about it. So, um, I don't have a lot of really developed thoughts yet on the meeting this week. I need to read back through this and then probably... I'll go over and watch Sandy and um, Sandy at Let's Get Fit and Carrie at Weight Watchers with Carrie and any of my other little YouTube friends that like to do um, the meeting and see what they think. So, yeah. Anyway, good meeting today. I am okay with my way in. I went back and I looked through my little success book and this is always the week that I have gained. Um, and so due to my hormonal stuff. And so I'm really, really thankful that I didn't gain, um, especially coming off of two great weeks of losses. I've had another week of losses, which is wonderful. My goal for February was to lose four pounds this month um, from my lowest Weight Watchers weight. And so I think I'm almost there. So we will see. We'll see what next week holds. I'd like to get my 20 pound next week. So I am one of those people that's losing about a pound a week. Um, on Weight Watchers, I've lost 18.8 pounds, and I just got my 16-week uh, meeting charm. So I've done 17 meetings. So I, I'm I am one of those one pound a week average out. Um, I know some people do more, some people do less. Bodies are very individualized, but Weight Watchers recommends 0.5 pounds to two pounds a week as a healthy weight loss, and that's what they say that they can provide if you follow their program. And that's, I seem to be right smack dab in the middle of that. So I can't really say that I'm a slow loser, although <laughs> my inpatient brain would like to go more quickly. But then I think back when I started this in October, I was at 255 and I am almost to two, I'm almost 20 pounds down. And if I hadn't been doing Weight Watchers, I would be probably up from 255. Um, I probably, I could be back in the 270s, you guys. I could have easily gained back 20-something pounds um, in 
you know, the last four months over the holidays. So I'm so, so thankful for the Weight Watchers program. I am loving the way that I'm eating. I love that I'm more active. Um, I feel really healthy on this. Um, I don't feel like it's a lot of work because I, f I feel like it's fitting in with my lifestyle, which is, and it's saving me money too, you guys, because I'm not eating out every day. Um, I'm doing Starbucks like once every couple weeks. I used to do Starbucks every day. I used to order out every day, you guys. And so now I'm like eating whole foods, healthy foods. I'm working out. I'm drinking a lot of water. I mean, I just feel, I feel really good about the trajectory that I'm on. So I hope that my videos continue to um, be an encouragement to you all. The reason I am doing this, if you're new to my channel, is to keep myself accountable. Initially, I just started out because I wanted to keep myself accountable. I never thought I would have more than just a handful of people that would want to do this with me. So thank you all so much for your support and for, you know, all of the positivity and the amazing comments. And, um, I just, you know, I say this every Saturday. I really appreciate you all. And you guys are helping me go to meetings. My husband giggles and laughs that it takes 3000 people to get me to go to my meetings. <laughs> so he loves that you guys are doing this for me as well. Um, he's so supportive of all this. And I will see you guys tomorrow at 2 o'clock, um, God willing, for my little giveaway live. And if you have any questions that you want to ask me, um, any food questions or recipe stuff or just general, you know, whatever, I'm happy. I'm, o I'm open to questions. I will um, answer the ones that I feel are appropriate, obviously. <laughs> And I mean, you guys see my life. There's not a lot to talk about, but if you do have questions, pop on here tomorrow at 2 p.m. or leave questions down below and I will answer them and you can watch them back. They will be recorded. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys, if you weighed in today, had a great day. I hope, hope you've had a great week on program and I will see you tomorrow. Thanks everyone. Bye.